Hey guys, since I love to use brush pens, I decided to make a little test chart and show you what uh, kind of brush pens I've got and what they can do. So, the pens I have on my testing chart are the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen, the Pilot Pocket Brush Pen in soft and hard. They've got different inks which is why I have both of them on my list. The Kuretake Sumi brush, I've got the number 8. The Kuretake Fuji Gokoshi brush pen in regular size. Copic Multiliner, the Sakura Pigma brush and the Kuretake Sig Cartoonist Mangaka brush pen. I've got one in fine. So, I want to test them on uh, water, alcohol and with an eraser. I've also got um, a list for refills and what kind of tip they have. At first I've got a Pentel pocket brush pen. I think it's one of the more popular ones. It has a brush tip, as you can see. It comes with refills. Well, and it's one of my favorites. So, I've heard some people say it is water resistant, and some say it isn't. I think it also depends on the paper you use. So, this one is kind of a Bristol board. Okay. I've painted this on yesterday, so it had 24 hours to try. So, alcohol. And eraser. So, let's see. Uh, some pigments came off with the water. It didn't smudge with the alcohol marker. And it got a tiny bit lighter from the eraser, but I was erasing really hard. So, yeah. And, well, to the pocket brush pen in soft. Like I said, the ink is a bit different from the hard one. Okay, it has a felt tip and there are no refills, so if it's empty, it's empty. Well, you could try to, to refill it. I'm going to try it. I um, it's still a bit ink in here, but I will show you the results when I'm trying to refill it. So, as you can see, it's not water resistant. So, you can use it for ink washes. This can also be a good thing. Looks good. You can use it with markers and eraser. <sighs> Looks better than the pencil. Now the same one in hard. So it's blue as you can see. It has a felt tip and there are also no refills available. 
the ink is a bit colder as you can see I hope <laughs> you can see it so you can also use it with markers now let's erase it it gets a bit lighter unlike the other one um, I don't know if you can see it here so now the next one Sumi brush from Kuritake this is the number 8, it's the cheaper one with the plastic body it has a brush tip um, and there aren't only refills but also you can get this part here um, again if, if you use the pen so much that it got empty okay I thought I had okay there is space for another uh, cartridge I thought I had one in here but I guess I was wrong well, it doesn't matter so what I don't like about this brush is um, if you uh, Gripping it on the front here, you will get dirty fingers, and you can push this one forward accidentally. But aside from that, I like the feeling of it way more than with the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. So Let's see. Perfect for ink washes. Ooh. But you can use carbon ink in it if you want something water resistant. I think there are um, converters for this pen. So also alcohol resistant and now to the erasing part it gets lighter a lot but like I said you can use a different ink if you want to so another one from Kuritake um, I like this one. I think it's quite juicy and the ink is quite deep. Well, at least if you use it for lines, it's not made for uh, bigger areas. Um, so, let's test it out. A lot more water resistant. The ink has a warmer tone to it. Alcohol looks fine. Oh yes, there are also no refills available. Now to the Copic one. Well, it depends on for which one you decide if there are refills or no refills. For the Multiliner SP, you can also get um, new tips. Which is. Uh, 
nice thing because after a while they might look like this. I still like to use it for uh, bigger areas. But for details there's, well, <laughs> you can't use them anymore for details if you uh, use them too much. So. Okay. Mm. Not as much as the Kuritake Fudegoshi, but um, not 100% water resistant after 24 hours. Oh, oh what a surprise, they are Copic resistant. And they erase off quite ugly. They don't get lighter, but you can rub off um, dots. So now the Sakura Pigma. Oh. They have a finer brush tip than the Copic ones. I think I like to use them more, but they also tend to fuss after a while if you use them too much. Pretty much the same result as the Copics, okay. Ooh, this one gets light. Huh. Now the only thing left is the Kuritake uh, Sick Cartoonist Mangaka Brush Pen in fine. What a long name. Okay. That's the one they used on the website I bought it, I think. Also no refills and a felt tip. It's water resistant. Well, not 100% on this paper. But I've used watercolors already and it worked fine. Well, it depends a lot on the paper you use. I will show you example on this one later. Hmm. Looks like it drops off the ink. Okay. And it gets a bit lighter by erasing, but not as much. So. This is the whole chart. I've only used my black brush pens. I also have some colored ones. I've got a whole set of um, pick mark brush markers. And I've also got this one in brown. And I have one of those also in brown. I've also tried this on a different kind of paper. It was a bit more textured. Okay. And I've got different results. Especially in the Copic area, the multi-liners rubbed off. Also the Pendle Pocket Brush Pen and the, uh, okay, the Kuritaku Sick Cartoonist Pen was the same. So. And they well, were totally different when it came to water. Those ones just got <laughs> brownish red in the background. It's okay. 
On this paper you could use um, any of these pens with uh, water. They would just bleed out a tiny bit. It surprised me a bit that the paper <laughs> was so different when it came to water. I have tested them out before. I made this chart and I had different test results which was why I didn't use the footage for this paper. And I made a new one with a more regular used paper. Bristol board like I told you and I had the results I knew from, from using them in my drawings. What? That's it, that's my test result for my brush pens. Uh, if you have a new paper, um, test them out before you use them like you used to use them, because they could act different. Uh, if you have another question, ask me in the comments. I will be happy to answer them and well, goodbye.